Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mei Ling. In this video, I would like to share you my experience of having my brows done. Okay, so I know there are a lot of ways of doing brows. There are microblading, microshading, or whatever, I'm not even sure. But the procedure that I'm going to do today is called ombre powder i hope i read it right and then i'm going to have it done at beauty by nyx so my friend recommended me to go there because uh, she said that they're really good um so i checked their instagram i checked their web page i checked their yelp whatever i can do to make sure that they are good and after checking i'm not sure yet if they're good or not until i finished it but it's all about taking the risk and today I don't have any makeup on my brows I know I look weird but uh, I think I don't have to draw it anymore because I'm going to have it done anyway <laughs> Okay, so let's go done now it's painful <laughs> it is painful she has sensitive skin because, too. because I have sensitive skin and uh, she said right now the brows look a little red and also really dark but I think they don't look too bad um, how was her job did she do a good job I think she's she was really focused and especially for the first hour when she tried to shape the eyebrows she was really focused make sure that the brows look even and she didn't really talk much <laughs> I tried to make some conversation just asking her about stuff but it seems like she doesn't want to talk so but it's okay as long as she's focused and she's doing a good job that's all I want so. yeah. and at the end she tried to um, give post instruction she, she like she she was nice so she was nice just that she doesn't really talk a lot so it's good because I don't talk a lot too okay guys so this is one day after the brows are done um, I think they look darker now I try to make sure that I follow the aftercare um, to make sure I don't mess up and this is day two guys I feel like the brow look even darker now but they don't look too bad um, I don't have any pain anymore so it's good okay so this is day 4 I think so far it's the day that I can feel like my brows feel different now they start to feel like they are scabbing um, a little itchy sometimes maybe it's the process of starting to peel I actually don't like how it feels right now and it's been tough for me because I normally wash my hair every day because if I don't I would feel like headache so I'm still trying to do that every day and it's been really tough <laughs> to to put this on my face and then wash my hair I felt like I got my brows wet last night and it's not too bad but it's still really tough and I can't it's just day four but I can't wait to run the water on my face and just 
take a nice shower, you know? Yeah, so... Okay, so this is day 7. feel like they're cracking up. They start to peel now. They are really itchy sometimes. But I'm happy because I feel like they're healing well and I can't wait to see the final result. Okay, so this is day 11. So far, it's the day that I can see the most different. Um, my brows are actually really ugly right now, but I'm happy because it's part of the healing and I can see that it's going forward. I'm almost there. I think in about three more days or something, I can wash my face again. I can't wait for that. And I can't wait to see how it turns out to be. Let's see. Okay, so this is day 13. It's crazy. The scabbing is almost done. Only some small parts left, but the colors have faded and I I feel like they look the way they looked before before the treatment and just feel like I've, I've wasted my money I panic a little but uh, try to read try to research they say it's supposed to be really normal for the color to be really light like this because it takes time for the color to come back so. okay so finally my brows are done with the healing I believe um, there are no more peeling all the scabbing is done and this is how they look like right now um, so I don't have any makeup on my brows right now this is how they look like when I get up and the feeling is amazing um, the color is still really light because um, it's supposed to be light for right after the peeling is done you will have to wait about four to six weeks to finally see how the color turned out to be right now they look really light and natural but i still like it because the shape is there and they just look natural and that's what i wanted and so it's been such a cool journey for me i think with this brows i've been having such a roller coaster of emotion <laughs> Like, I felt all kind of emotion uh, for this brows. Before you started the treatment, you were nervous. Right after the treatment, I was happy, I was excited, but also nervous because I didn't know how it turned out to be. And also, I, I was also anxious because I did not want to mess up. And I just try my best to follow the aftercare. And it's been tough for the aftercare um, especially when you have to wash your hair not getting your brows wet and also you have to wash your face still but don't get your brows wet and also um, they say you can't take hot shower because you don't want the steam to get into your brows but it is so tough it is so cold how can i not take hot shower so it's it's tough but Last night, I had my full shower and washed my face and everything. It felt so nice. <laughs> so yeah, that's the all kind of emotion that I felt. But overall, it's a cool journey. I like it. I like the experience, especially I like the result. Um, the feeling of like, you know, when you get up and you don't have to do the brows, you don't have to draw your brows every day and you can just go anywhere with these brows it's worth it so something i've learned from this and i would like to share to you guys is that first you will have to do as much research as you can 
before you go for the treatment because there are many types of um, brows treatment there are micro blading there's micro shading there are ombre powder brows which is what i'm doing um i think there are more but i don't know uh, but yeah just make sure you know the difference and what you want to do especially what is good for your skin type so for me i have um, oily and sensitive skin so i've done my research if you have oily and sensitive skin, you don't want to do microblading. And ombre powder, so far, is good for any, for all skin types. So, just I would recommend do your research before you start the treatment. And then another thing is that you want to make sure that you read all the aftercare instruction and make sure you can do it after the treatment, because it's really important. You can't mess up the aftercare. How your brows come up to be, it really depends on how you take care of it after so you don't want to mess up because you don't want to go through it again and also make sure that you have enough time to take care of the brows because you will need two weeks after the treatment to take care of them it's not like a lot of work but just make sure that you can do that because this treatment is not something like you can go in and then you're done after that session because you will have to come back make sure you can follow all the aftercare instruction before you book that appointment you want to keep that two weeks after the treatment low-key you don't want to book your appointment knowing that you have planned for maybe wedding or a trip or something because your brows will look ugly at some stage because the most dramatic stage that I went through was um, the peeling and scabbing stage my brows were ugly and I did not want to go out you don't want to look ugly and go to a wedding or a trip or something like that so be careful book the appointment and have the two weeks off but right now I just need to go for a touch up um, after eight weeks and then after the eight weeks it will be another one or two years before I need my touch up again so yeah um, I like it so far and I hope you find this video helpful and if it is don't forget to like and subscribe and then comment to leave any questions that you have or share the experience of any brows treatment that you have done